How do I use method extraction in a simple scenario? Well, to give a demonstration of this, I'm going to load in a test version of our Pong game. So I'll grab this Pong test solution, load this into Visual Studio, and we'll take a look at a specific method. You can see here I'm at the load graphics content method, and I'll point out two things that are going on inside of this method. First, we're loading in textures, and that makes sense for load content. Then we're setting up the initial state of some of our objects. Now this block of code would actually make more sense as something like a start game method, as that would allow us to call it from different places in code or at different times, and make the code more reusable. Now in order to move this out, we could of course write a method and simply copy the code out, or we could use method extraction to do all of that for us. As an example, we could select all of the text, right click on it, go to refactor, extract method, then we're presented with a dialog asking for a name for the new method. I'll give the name start game and hit OK. And you'll see that a start game method has been created for us. It has that block of code in it, and it also has placed a call to our new method where the code block originated from. So in doing this, we have now very quickly made this block of code modular and callable from anywhere. And this is very convenient, of course, because now from other parts of your game, you can easily make a call to start game in order to reinitialize a new game. Exactly. We don't have to duplicate any code. Exactly. So that'll wrap up this quick video.